Hello, my name is Ron Grover and I'm an application engineer for Go Engineer. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to use the Modify Sketch tool in SolidWorks 2015. When copying sketches, it is often necessary to modify the sketch in some way. Usually this means rotating, scaling, mirroring, or moving the sketch. The Modify Sketch tool allows you to treat a sketch as a group or block and perform operations on the sketch as a whole. So let's take a look at an example to see how this powerful tool can be used. So here you can see I've got an arrow sketch that's driving this arrow cut feature. I'm going to go ahead and copy this sketch by selecting it, hitting Control C on the keyboard, selecting the face or plane that I want to put the sketch on, uh, the copy of the sketch on, and hit Control V, and that'll place a copy of the sketch. I'm going to go ahead and edit this sketch. You'll see that there are dimensions and relations that have come through uh, from the originating sketch. Now I need to uh, position this sketch. In this case, I also need to scale this sketch. Now, I could go through and edit each of the dimensions and try and get you know, the right scale, uh, but I can use the Modify Sketch tool. To find the Modify Sketch tool, you'll go to Tools, Sketch Tools, and Modify. This opens up the Modify Sketch dialog box, and let's take a look at the options here. So we can uh, scale the sketch here. I've got a, a factor. I can translate the sketch in X and Y, and I can rotate the sketch here. So let's go ahead and give this a scale factor of 1.5. So you can see that it's scaled the sketch uh, to 1.5 times what it originally was. Because SolidWorks is big on cursor feedback, if I take a look at my mouse cursor here, I've got a little mouse icon. On the left button, I see a pan icon, and on the right button, I see a rotate icon. So using my left mouse button, I can just click and drag anywhere on the sketch, and it will move the sketch into position. If I right click or use my right mouse button, that allows me to rotate the sketch. And in this case, it's in 15 degree increments. So if I needed to rotate this sketch around, say 90 degrees, I could do that. I'll move it back into position, and then I could go back through and uh, position the sketch with uh, dimensions or, or whatever I needed. So now that I've got my sketch in the place that I want it, I'll go ahead and close this Modify Sketch dialog box. I'll go ahead and exit the sketch. And just so that we know that uh, this is a little bit different, I'll go ahead and modify the sketch color. So I'll change that to green. Now since my original sketch uh, is still on the clipboard, I'll go ahead and select the next face, hit Control V on the keyboard, and paste another copy of my original sketch. I'll go ahead and edit this sketch. And again, using the Modify Sketch tool, so Tools, Sketch Tools, Modify, I'll go ahead and move it into position. Now in this case, I want this sketch to be the same size as my original, but I want it to be a mirror image of it. If I hover over these black dots here that look like an origin or a triad, uh, you can see that my mouse will change. On the right mouse button now, uh, the icon shows a mirror symbol. So if I right click on this black dot, it's going to mirror that sketch across that axis. And I can do that with uh, both directions here. So let's say I'll leave it like that. That looks good. I'll go ahead and exit the sketch. And there I have my copies of sketches and I've made some changes to them very easily using the Modify Sketch tool in SolidWorks. My name is Ron Grover. This has been a look at the Modify Sketch tool in SolidWorks 2015. Thanks for watching and have a great day.